Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, what we are going to be doing is looking at a, or trying to fix, a Game Boy Advanced SP. Now, let me turn on this light. There we go. Now it looks much better. The wrong, thing with, that's wrong with this Game Boy SP right here is the blue one, not the black one. I'm going to be using the battery from the black one to show you guys what's wrong with it. But, um... The thing I have issues with, with it, um, is that there's a line across the screen. I'll show you guys in the in a, that in a second once I get this battery out. Uh, while I'm waiting, I want to talk to you guys why I don't make videos often. It's normally because, you probably don't know this, but, or I might have said it in another video, but it's mostly because I don't have a good editing software, so things, when I make, I usually make hour-long videos, and I can't split them up because I don't have a good editing software, and when I try to put them all together, it, all, it always errors on all my videos. So I try to, to, try to make the shortest videos possible, so I'm gonna make the shortest one here, and hopefully this one won't have issues. Yes, this is Shrek 2. Well, I guess I can show you guys what's wrong. So, they, when you go to the screen, you say, hey, nothing's wrong here, um, but once you go into it a little bit more, um, see there's a blue line. Whenever something blue shows up, it goes bluer than it. So it tries, it's, it's always a blue line, it's not one of those black lines, it's blue. So that means, um, I think, what I think that means is that we have an issue with discoloration in one line which probably means that the the wire is not broken but the wire is not um the wire in here is just is just not connected correctly so we're going to rub it with alcohol once we get into it so let me just go grab a dry Um, so I've got this tri-wing screwdriver that's going to help us open it up. And let's see what we can do. My, my, I hate this camera. It dies in like five seconds. So I might have to split this video into two. Yeah, that's another reason why I can't make, upload videos. Because my camera's garbage. I got this a little while ago, and I didn't remember that, well, apparently I, I didn't see it myself, or it probably just happened, where the, this thing got a little messed up on the screen. Uh, I, 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 the only other issue is, is that the battery is dead, and I don't, I know that batteries cost like $10, and I don't really want to spend $10 on a battery. You know, I want to just, I just want to use the battery from other ones, because my brother doesn't use his, and that's why I'm using the battery from his, so hopefully, I'm hoping, hoping that I don't have to replace the screen on this, because even if I had to, I would probably not do it, and I'd probably just leave it alone, you know, um, because I really don't want to spend the money on fixing something that probably, that's in the most rough condition possible, and probably won't run and get me any money whatsoever if I sell it. So, uh, this video... I hate this camera. I hate it. I'm going to tell you one thing. I hate this camera. Well, here we go. We're in the main motherboard now. And what we're going to do is we're going to take out three screws, I think that says. I think that is three screws. And because I learned my lesson on not to put the hold the battery in from the back and actually put the cover on the back, you'll see later. But um, just to check it on it, you know. What is this? Where did this pop out of? I don't know. I'll probably see in the video. So I just got to the cable, and it seems, what is this? Oh, this is the button thingy, yeah, okay, for the light. So here's our cable, 
and it does look it does appear to be dirty so that's probably what our issue was so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some rubbing alcohol and wipe it now let me just go grab a paper towel So hopefully this video will come out quick because I know what I'm doing on this video. So hopefully nothing goes wrong and I probably just jinx it. So, you know. I just jinxed it. Here's one screw. I think two of them fell, so I have to find the other. Won't take long, hopefully. You know what? I'm going to just keep on cleaning the connections. There goes another screw, but you know, that's what you expect when you're doing this stuff. There we go. I'm going to move off the thing for a sec so I can actually just see the floor. Hopefully none of them went into the crack down here. There's a couple cracks down here, actually. I doubt they fell because the crack is like, it's weird. to come down and then just start rubbing the place with some, with a uh, magnet, you know, that sort of thing. But let's just go on and test it out first. Because we always want to test things out. So this is what I mean why I have to put this on before I put the battery. Because last time I put... Sometimes I put the battery in backwards. So here's our battery. Still seems to be there. Still there. That means I have to that's that means that it's either that I have to clean it again or it needs a brand new wire or brand new something or other you know you know you understand what I'm talking about So let's see. I'm gonna put more alcohol on a paper towel and hopefully after this I can find some more screws. Or I can find the screw. Well, I think two of them are missing now, so. I can't stand tiny screws, like, it's my worst enemy. See, it's gonna, this is going to keep me from doing the video, so, you know. Here's one. 
Oh, I found the other. It's not, they're not even screws, they're little thingies. Found them. Okay, so now it's time to go back and do some more alcohol on this because we want to make sure that everything's out. Okay, so hopefully, I'm hoping that this will fix it. Oh. Come on. So I know it wasn't dropped in the water or anything like that, so that's good. I like those little things, it's those little pieces of paper. So cool. I used to think that, um, actually, I want, I used to think that, uh, my dad used to say if you the paper, piece of paper got wet, then that means that your, the whole entire phone got wet, and I was like, wait a minute, what? So. I meant, I thought he meant that if that paper were to ever get wet, the whole entire machine would it would have stopped working. It's kind of a stupid phobia, but you know. But I never had, I never worried about it. I just worried about dropping things in the water. I always have. I don't want to drop anything in the water. Because I know that they... Come on. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, here we go. Oh, and there's another piece of paper right there. You know, I wish they made their things waterproof. Still, it's there. So that means that I have to... It's much worse in condition than I thought I would be. But, you know. Uh, let's see what else I can do here. While I'm at it, I really want to know what this thing does. wondering where that went. Did that go like right here or something like that? I have no clue. Actually, I have no idea. Well, as you can see, this video, I failed. Um, and doesn't mean I can't succeed. Oh, I found the piece where it goes.
Is this where it goes? No, nope, never mind. Uh, oh, found it. Found where it goes. It goes right here. There we go. Um. This doesn't mean that I can't come back to this project. Um. And it doesn't mean anything else about the project. It's a good one. Um, I can do a little bit more on this uh, later. See what I can do. Um, guess that's it. See ya.